joining us on, a, on yet another uh, big day for America that most Americans don't even know is a big day for America. And I guess it isn't really, because today was uh, primary election day in Michigan, even though we already know who's going to win the primary in Michigan. This primary election cycle has all the suspense of an episode of Blue's Clues. You just don't know. <laughs> The only question tonight was, by how many points will Nikki Haley lose this one? The real contest in Michigan is over who is running the voting for Republicans. Two different people, a woman named Christina Caramo and a guy named Pete Hoekstra, claim to be the chair of the state Republican Party, and they schedule dueling events. They're having two Republican nominating conventions at the same time. Remember when they released two different fire festival documentaries at once? It's like a dumber version of that. But this woman, Christina Caramo, she was voted out last month after Trump made it clear he wanted her gone, but she refused to accept the results of the election voting. Gee, I wonder where she got that idea. <laughs> when I left you, I was but a learner. Now I am the master. They say this is the biggest mess in Michigan since Eminem vomited up his mom's spaghetti, but... <laughs> Joe Biden on the other, is running essentially unopposed. The president met with leaders from both parties at the White House today to see if they can again try to stave off another last-minute government shutdown. If Congress doesn't pass a bill to fund the government by the end of the day Friday, we're in a big mess. And I would imagine that days like this have Biden wondering why he ever even considered running for president again. Thank you all for coming. That's what we're going to be talking about. Thank Mr. You. President. Sure, that's nothing to worry about. They got good people working there. This is pretty crazy. Biden and Trump are scheduled to visit the border in Texas on Thursday, both of them. The, they will both be at the border, and if they can get two more senior citizens to go with them, they got themselves a pickleball match at the border. <laughs> the president is um, going to see what can be done to solve the border crisis. Trump is going to make sure he doesn't solve what's happening at the border. Biden is planning to meet with U.S. border agents um, while Trump is planning to sell golden high tops on the streets of Juarez. <laughs> Don Fulio took to Truth Social yesterday to post not one, but 15 endorsements for Texas lawmakers. They were all pretty much co copy and paste jobs, but one name in particular stood out. One of the people he endorsed is uh, Stormy Bradley, who, another Stormy? Who knows two Stormies? <laughs> I wonder if he'll write this Stormy at check two. I mean, you know, when Ted Cruz heard about this Stormy, in Texas, he immediately boarded a flight to Cancun. He's... <laughs> Trump sees the border as a key point of attack against Biden, even going so far as to strong arm Republicans in Congress to renege on a deal they made to help secure it. Trump's funny because he goes from a topic like the border, which plays very well for him, even though he himself did nothing meaningful to secure it, he goes from screaming about issues Americans actually do care about to yelling about things that don't even exist. For whatever reason, he is fixated on water conservation. He's against it, by the way. And every chance he gets now, he's beating this drum about not having enough water in our faucets and washing machines. They're destroying our country. Whether it's a water faucet that doesn't put out water or a shower that no water or a washing machine, where you can be in the middle of the greatest waterfall. You know, you have some states, they can't get rid of their water. The washing machines, they don't give you enough water. I made it so that great companies, Whirlpool, great companies can survive and thrive. I let them have yeah. water. Wow, thank you. That's, wow, it's like Moses has risen to lead us again through the water. For a man who has never done his own laundry, he's very concerned about this washing. I mean, seriously, you think he's ever in his whole life, you think this man of the people has ever loaded a washing machine or a dryer? or washed a dish or rinsed anything other than his filthy boxers in a hotel sink to get the smell of hooker off. Not a chance. Not a chance. I would love, I would pay so much money to watch Donald Trump load a dishwasher. 
I want a show called The Donald Trump Challenge, where every week he's tasked with a common household chore, like um, operate a vacuum, make a bed, find the button that resets the garbage disposal. <laughs> like, every Tuesday, he gets assigned a task, and for the whole hour, we watch him try to do it. Wouldn't that be the greatest? Maybe, maybe we'll call it Donald Dozen. I think this could be... This could be bigger than The Apprentice. Maybe if I pitch it, he'll drop out of the race and do this instead. Guillermo, get Ivanka on the phone, stat. Okay, I will, yeah. Thank sure. you, all right. <laughs> you could put the whole dumb family on the show. You know, the, um, the fraudigal son, Donald Trump Jr., had a little scary yesterday. A team wearing hazmat suits were dispatched to his home in Jupiter, Florida, because DJ TJ got a letter in the mail that contained an unidentified white powder uh, usually, when the hazmat team gets called to Don Jr.'s, it's because his hair clogged the toilet. But in this case, <laughs> they analyzed, they found that the substance uh, did not seem to be dangerous, probably just something from his friends in the white powder movement. But um, <laughs> I guess his job now is shouting at his computer because his big subject today was Google AI. Google AI, I don't know if you heard, in the name of racial diversity, has been creating ridiculous images of black and Latino Nazis. If you tell it to make a picture of a Nazi, it wants to include everyone, so it creates Nazis from every color of the rainbow. And it also, according to Junior, does this with other historical figures, including uh, black George Washington, which, as you will see, bothers him a lot. This, this is what Google Gemini says the Founding Fathers look like. Black Founding Fathers. Yes, you heard that correct, folks. According to Google's AI Gemini program, the founding fathers were actually black. I don't know about you. Doesn't seem all that accurate. I wonder why they would do something like this. When did he turn into a morning radio DJ from 1989? <laughs> it's DJ DJ TJ of the Cuboric Zoo. Be ready with the phrase of pace. <laughs> Call her 98.5 goes home with 98.5.50. Stick with the winner. After Millie Vanilli on the queue. Last night I mentioned how Daddy Trump has been desperately trying to woo black voters, and the apple doesn't fall far from the orange on that. Listen to this story this doof would have us believe is true. But, you know, it's sort of interesting. As, as someone, you know, I just, I travel all over the country. I fly commercial. I, like, I'm all over. You know, I, I have seen and witnessed now more than ever uh, you know, the amount of African-American men that have come up to me, literally like, hey, man, you're my hero. I'm like, what? I, like, really? Like, I, I did not have that in my bingo card. <laughs> <laughs> this poor man can't even go into a Cabela's without a mob of African-American men coming up to call him their hero. That, that happened at most zero times, okay? <laughs> of all the many lies this adenoidal Nepo baby child has spit up, that might be the most preposterous of all of them. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Trump Jr. I want you to know I'm black. You probably noticed that, and I, I love whatever it is that you do. <laughs> High five. <laughs> right, it's time to play um, America's favorite new name game. It's time to go out to Hollywood Boulevard to play <laughs> Give Me Five. Here we go. Lou, you've got three contestants there. Introduce us to them, won't, won't you? Of course, we got Lexi, Tony, and Gabriella. Lexi, Tony, and Gabriella, thank you for coming. Thank you for playing. You are... um, do you know the rules of the games, contestant? Do you know the rules of this game? Yeah, yes. you do. Okay, Lou, will you explain to our audience the rules of the game? And also to me, because I've forgotten them. <laughs> of course. So Jimmy's going to give you a category and ask you to name five things that belong in that category. You'll have 25 seconds to write your answers down on your whiteboard. Uh, for each correct answer, you get a point. And whoever has the most points at the end of three rounds wins. Perfect. You ready to do this? Yes. We'll do yes. It. All right. Again, five things in a category. Give me, give me the names of five things that are slippery. You have 25 seconds. Begin. Gabriella is really, she knows her slippery stuff. <laughs> I would also accept things that are slidery. Ugh. Basically, it's a list of things that are gross that we're looking for. I know, I know, I know. Oh, well, it's not time yet. You still got, oh, okay, all right, yeah. All right, oh, Gabriella is really fast. All right, Gabriella, we're gonna start with you since you are very eager to show, okay, Gabriella, you got slide, okay, yes. High heels, okay. 
Seal. Now, are we talking about the singer or a, a, the animal? The animal. The animal. Yes. I think I would take both. Tongue. Okay. There's not. There's a spelling error there, but we oh. will not count that against you. <laughs> and finally, water slide, which is also a slide. How do we, Guillermo? How do we rule? I do think we, she get the point. She gets it. Okay. Yes. You got five points, Gabriella. Yes. All right. All right. Now, Tony. All right. Tony is objecting. All right, Tony. What's that first word? Uh, it is a wet ball. <laughs> You've been out on the boulevard for a while, Tony? <laughs> a little bit. All right, a wet ball. OK, I'm going to give you that. A cat, a cat. Um, all right, uh, Guillermo, what do we say about cat? A cat? No, I don't no, think so. That is, no, that is no. We're not going to give you cat. Next <laughs> one is. What does that say? A slide? A slide, yeah. You get that for sure. Soap. I think you get that for sure. And me covered in soap. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, that's a sexy image. I think we'll give you that, too. So, uh, all right, we're giving you four points, Tony. Right. And finally, yeah. Lexi. Lexi, what say you? You have ground. The ground is slippery. That can be true, yes. A fish is, yes, slippery. <laughs> Fish. Water. Is water slippery or does water make things slippery? I'm going to say water is not slippery. Guillermo? Uh, I think I agree with you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, and next, <laughs> we've got slime, yes, and slide, yes. You get four points. All right, Lexi. We got a tight game here. We got good contestants. All right. Round two now. We're going to reset the clock, erase your boards if you would. The next category five words that begin with a vowel. Go. Oh, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Weirdly harder than you might guess. On this game show, vowels are free, by the way. We don't charge you for them like Pat Sajak uh. does. Fun fact, vowels, the vowel was invented in uh, 1985. Yay. <laughs> Guillermo, that's true, right? That's not true. All right, all right. All right, now let's start with Lexi. Lexi, what are you, let's go for your answers here. You've got... Eight, yes, eat, alpha, alpha, well, another spelling error, and elephant, all right, yes, that's five for you. Tony, you've got, Abba, wait a minute, hold on a second. Sometimes why, but not in these cases. <laughs> uh, hold on a minute, yeah, no, why is no, and not at the beginning, I'm sorry, but I'm not, I'm gonna have to give you only three points right. for that one, and uh, finally, Gabriella, who is uh, owl outside umbrella ombre? That is not spelled yeah, correctly. Ombre, like uh, like the hair thing, like when you do your ombre. When you what? When you dye your hair and you do an ombre. Guillermo, what... I need a hel help on this. Yeah, I, I, I give her the point. Yeah, yes. ombre. Yes. Wait, is this a? <laughs> it is. Yeah. Wait, is this a word in English? Yes. Yes. And it's spelled O M B R E. Yes. 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 I don't buy it, but okay. <laughs> Somebody looked that up while we're an animal. All right, we're going to give you five now, but I reserve the right to retract one if ombre is not ombre. It is yeah, ombre. ombre. Yeah. Yeah. Ombre. 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 It doesn't that yeah that doesn't change my mind. At all. <laughs> all right, we're still we got a game here. We still let's put 25 seconds on the clock. Give me things that tickle. All right, go ahead. Let me see that ombre while they're doing this. Ombre. That's a French word. <laughs> the blending of one color. Oh. Mm. How do you know this, Guillermo? Uh, thanks to my wife. Can I keep this phone? <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. And okay. Oh, right. They're having the game. Okay. Yes. And we. Okay. Here we go. Let's check the scores. And um, we've got uh, Tony has seven. You have some catching up to do. Lexi, nine, Gabriella, ten. Tony, we'll start with you. All right. Tony. Oh. All right, so I got. Tony says. I forgot what the category was. What was it? <laughs> Things that, that tickle. tickle. Okay. Uh, feather, yes. Baby. Hmm. <laughs> baby's tech. They a baby's they more left. of a tickly than a tick. Yeah. Um, Pillsbury Doughboy, again, same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Your feet? Now, okay, I'm gonna give you your feet, because I could imagine you all soaked up with your feet tickling. <laughs> uh, and finally, hyenas. 
Nikki, hey, no. Okay, I'm <laughs> just Wait, Tony, please explain hyenas. We Okay, so you say things that are tickled, I think hyenas because they laugh all the time. So it's a tickle, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so we're not giving you that. Um, <laughs> let me give you a feather and we're going, oh, it doesn't matter. Tony, you lost. All right, next. Let's go to Lexi. Lexi, what do you have? Uh, Lexi says uh, feather, feet. Um, yeah, again, well, okay, feet, I have to give you that. I gave it to Tony. And armpits, are, yeah, things that are tickled. But no one has ever tickled anyone with their armpits. It's just never <laughs> happened. True. All right, that so you get true. two points there, Lexi. And Gabriella, I think you're in good position. You're in the pole yeah. position. Feather, a person, pillows. Yeah, okay, kind of. Yarn, cat, yeah. A cat, wait, what's with the cats? <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't tickle. matter. Gabriella, you are the winner. Yeah. Well, Gabriella, what's she's won? A bunch of junk yeah. from five below. Oh, For the losers, Lou. I'm oh. sorry you did not survive the five, but some five-hour energy. Five-hour energy drink. All right, enjoy uh, wisely and safely. Thank you all, Lexi, Tony, and Gabriella, our Thank champion. You. Thanks for playing. Give me five. There we go.